Hulu's new film tells the story of a young girl that becomes stranded at a rest stop and discovers a kidnapped girl in a van and must determine the identity of the kidnapper. I watched No Exit. Should you? Let's find out. How's it going, movie watchers? Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're talking about No Exit, the new Hulu thriller. This movie reminded me so much of a movie I would watch like in 2006. It's very simple, bloody at times, and it's got some twists and turns along the way to keep me really interested in it. Sometimes there's a little too many twists and turns. We have this young girl who stops at a rest stop and she discovers a young girl that's been kidnapped in a van. Inside this rest stop is four other people, so she has to identify who is the kidnapper. About 30 minutes into the film, they reveal who the kidnapper is. And uh, the movie uh, exhausts its kind of mystery very early on in the movie, but it's always keeping you interested because that's not the only twist and turn within this movie. There's so many things that are happening within this movie that really keep you engaged and keep you guessing as well. And a lot of shocking moments along the way that I honestly did not expect. I was very afraid about that 30 minute mark into the film. I'm like, this is what you're giving me very early on. I have the rest of the movie now. Then I was surprised with some more twists and turns. And there may be a few too many, but I think each one of them comes off as very impactful to the movie and keeping that suspense. It's a very simple story. The young girl's kidnapped and the kidnapper is in this rest stop. It reminds me of a movie I would watch like in 2006. I remember in the mid 2000s just watching a bunch of horror films and the horror films that were released in the mid 2000s were very simple. They were slasher films. They really didn't offer anything supernatural. It was just a very simple story and that's what No Exit is. It's a very simple story that's not trying to do anything big and i really did like that about this movie because it's really able to build that suspense really early on in the movie and really focus in on the story and who is the kidnapper within the movie havana rose liu plays darby and she's really good in here she's uh both parts paranoid and uh, anxious and scared. There's just so much that she handles within this movie. And she's dealing with her own personal demons within the film, so she tackles on a lot. And I really liked her performance. She handles most of the movie, and she does the job really well. I really can't wait to see what she does in the future because this performance was very suspenseful and she did so great within here. And the movie also has Dennis Haysbert, the Allstate guy and Dale Dickey and Danny Ramirez. I really like the cast in here. Uh, everybody is um, unique in their own way to the point where it's hard to pinpoint who is exactly involved with the kidnapping of this young girl. Everybody is so suspicious and everything is just so tense that it's easy to try to come up with these stories of this person being the kidnapper or this person being the kidnapper. And as we get certain twists and turns, uh, it's very shocking too. There's not a lot of character development for some of the more minor characters besides like Darby. Uh, and that's very important because you don't know much about these people and you don't want to know a lot about them. You have to pay very close attention to their mannerisms, how they interact with people, and then start to come up with your own theories about the film. So uh, No Exit maintained that suspense with its characters throughout and there's also some very, very bloody moments within here as everybody's trying to survive and protect this young girl who was kidnapped in the van. So it does have the story that works with it and the characters, but also has those bloody moments as well. I really like No Exit for its simplicity and how it handled its story. There was a lot of twists and turns and maybe a one too many, but I think each one did work and did manage to keep my interest throughout the film. Very isolated area, this rest stop that only has five people in it, and it feels a little claustrophobic at times, and there's not 
many areas that these people can run to. So it really does provide that sense of urgency within the film. So I highly recommend checking out No Exit on Hulu. It's worth the watch. If you like uh, simple thrillers, I think you'll be impressed with this movie. Before I give you my score for No Exit, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. And if you like to see where No Exit ranks amongst all of the other 2022 releases I have seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking list. I'm gonna go ahead and give No Exit a B. Thank you guys for checking my review for the new Hulu film, No Exit. Stay tuned for more up and coming content just like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.